Hey, Bass Lightning here, and uh, welcome to another episode of my Street Muscle Diaries. And um, I did kind of finalize my weight reduction modding. Um, I had the door panels off, and I zip tied the cable so that all I got to do is pull on it to open the door. And the the window power window control box. I have everything um, electrical taped so that anything I stick inside the door like that, you know, I just leave a little vent for the circuit board, but I taped it up so if any water gets in there, it doesn't short anything out. So yeah, I'll show you uh, what I did. Uh, this is probably about as, well, as far as I'm going to go. Um, you know, if I take it to the track sometime, I'll, I'll probably go with a, you know, a Braley Racing battery. That'd be about the only thing I would change out. Uh, drop me down another 40 so right there is with just zero cost to me just a few hours of my time like you know probably four or five hours I think total with figuring things out and and removing panels and things like that which can be easily put back on so if there's any issues with inspection next summer I can just put them back on bring it back you know and <laughs> hopefully there won't be any issues but I didn't disable anything uh, safety wise like seat belts or airbags or anything like that um, so hopefully all is good if not I'll change it back to stock and then bring it back to where it is now you know I mean whatever hopefully I don't have to do that hopefully I can just leave it like this but I'll show you you guys and gals what I did uh, when it's daylight out so out here on the back roads um, and uh, I'm just gonna do some cruising I'm not gonna do any numbers tonight or anything I think I'll do that in the daytime but uh, you know now that's 65 pounds of weight reduction um, and definitely each thing I do the car gets a little more nimble uh, I opted to not take out the front sway bar unless I'm gonna drag race at a track or something you know on a drag strip um, I, I get into a lot of twisties and you know, uh, mountainous roads where I, I think that sway bar, it weighs 12 pounds, the whole assembly. Um, it could be another 12 pounds of weight loss, but I don't want to increase the body roll. I mean, this is a muscle car, it already has body roll, so I don't want to add more by taking out the front sway bar. That's an old drag racer's trick, you know, but yeah, I think uh, this is about as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to run some numbers at some point here, uh, log some numbers for you all and, and give you give you guys and gals the results and see where I'm at you know I, I mean I was already getting better times and I know right now I'm close to uh, a tenth reduction on everything so we're gonna see what happens when I actually run the performance pages when I get a nice cool day and the DA is good that's when I'm gonna try it I'm waiting for better for the optimal weather not a hot humid day you know um, so that's about it I'll uh, take you folks on a cruise here and then we'll call it good for tonight um, and uh, with my weight reduction modding and um, and I'm just kind of cruising track mode and just do a few pulls and have some fun all right so thanks for joining me and uh, let's get it on shall we
kind of careful in this area here. There's a lot of driveways that are blind. You can't see them going along here. You can't really go flying down through here, man. Somebody could be pulling out of the driveway. There's a farm that we just went through. There's farm equipment that, that work at night that come out of these fields. There's a driveway right here on my right. It's a blind. You can't see until they're right out into the road. So yeah, and there's another one here. You gotta, you know, pick your lines in a smart way. We have your fun, but you know, you're also being safe on public roads as much as you can be. I mean, we don't buy these cars to, you know, putter around at 20 miles an hour everywhere, but you got to use common sense, man, you know. <laughs> there's kids here and everything else in these neighborhood, you know. There's some little straightaways that are unpopulated, and, you know, that's where I have my fun, and then I just kind of go back to being normal when I'm around areas like this where there's houses everywhere, you know. Just use your common sense and be safe, folks, you know. I, you don't want to be killing yourself or killing anybody else or god forbid you hit some kid on a bike or something you just be careful you know these cars are dangerous um i don't care about what kind of trash talk is out there these cars are dangerous and you can get killed real easy in them. i know you get killed in anything but when you start getting at this horsepower level on up they get really dangerous you know so i just wanted to throw that little safety tidbit in there um, so uh, let's just try and make this uh, turn here I got a bug flying around in here but I don't want to roll down the window so yeah my window power selector is now down in the speaker hole where the speaker used to be I've taken out all the speakers except for the front two tweeters because I don't even listen to the stereo I really just use it for, uh, you know, receiving phone calls or whatever, you know. I'll put on some tunes really low sometimes, but I don't really listen to the stereo that much, so. The stereo I listen to is behind you all. It's called a Mopar H-pipe. <laughs> the only stereo I need, man. So to drag an extra weight around. Also, with the weight reduction modding, you get better MPGs. So, even in track mode, I'm getting over 16 miles per gallon, almost 17 when I'm not doing poles. So, that's pretty good for, you know, for what it is. It's a big block Hemi. So, 